Hello and welcome to part two of Triumph in Devon and Cornwall. I've been here before on family holidays for many years and there's lots of places I really remember. Today we're going from Exeter to Tor Cross and I'm looking forward to showing it to you. So thanks for coming back for another episode. There's quite a lot to discuss in this one. I've currently got 506 subscribers. I never even thought I'd get past the 100 mark, but to see 506 is really amazing. So thank you so much for that, and I'm in the process of filming a big celebration video. Also waiting for payday so I can order a 360 camera. I'll be doing a bit of research into which one to get because although this camera angle works really well I feel like I'd like to start changing things up and then with the option of two cameras I can show you guys a lot more of what's going on. Also coming up soon is Halloween, so I've been thinking about strapping a pumpkin to the back of my bike. I'm just thinking about how to do it, but I certainly will be doing a pumpkin run sometime soon. So anyway, back to the Devon and Cornwall trip. We were soon approaching Tor Cross, and I was starting to recognise this little lane. Now all lanes look the same, but this lane has a very specific tree. I'd pass this tree every time we came back from our family holiday, and it would always remind me that that was the end of the holiday, and soon after we'd be on the motorway and back home. It's really exciting to see that it hasn't changed. Here's my photo on the left and my photo from 2010 on the right. That lay-by seems to have appeared under it, but apart from that, it was really sweet to see it still looks the same. All its little details and it was very cool to see. I went quite giddy after seeing it actually, but it's always nice to see, and 10 years later it still hasn't changed. Very cool. Oh, I think I'm going to get a route, a route to somewhere that doesn't exist. Yeah, I think so, I saw the sea. Ah, saw the sea. And thankfully that's all I can play of that song without getting done for YouTube copyright. In my last video I put a historic video about the raid on Dartmoor Prison. Even though it had no music and it was literally just an old man talking, YouTube still managed to pick it up. Just not worth the hassle as I have to go through the whole editing, processing and uploading bit again. But if you're looking for a retro throwback and are wondering what I was about to sing to you, it's called Ace of Bass, The Sign. It's very cheesy, but I thought it was funny. Come on, you're doing... we got 11 minutes. Five minutes later. Come on, get a bus through there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you get a bus through there, thank you. To the beach? So weirdly up. Yeah, to the beach, yeah. Let's hope that isn't a joke sign that gets poor as well. I should probably explain why I'm slightly on edge here. The Start Bay Inn shuts at 8 thank pm, you. and this was quarter to eight. We still had a while to go, and we weren't entirely sure where we were going. It also felt very weird to be going up a hill to get to the seaside, but it all made sense, and memories started coming back. It does not feel very to the beach, Jess. Oh, there's the sea. But the race to get fish and ships was certainly on.
arriving in the Torcross car park, I spotted motorbike parking. The whole of Devon and Cornwall you have to pay for motorbike parking. I think that's really unfair and it's the only place I've ever visited where I've had to pay every time for parking. We decided to risk it this time and not pay, mainly because the pay and display machine wasn't working, but they were insistent that 365 days a year, 24 hours and not bank holidays, you still had to pay even if you were on a motorbike. I think that's really unfair, but this time we didn't get caught, so that was nice to know. Way! We did it! I'm sure the kitchen staff hated us, but with a few minutes to spare and not much else going on in the area, it was nice to be there. The last time I came to this beach, it was super sunny. I did manage to find a photo of me and my brother stood on that wall though. It looks a lot sunnier that day. After a great fish and chips, we decided to go for a quick walk in the dark on the beach. Not only was it raining, but it was also getting pretty cold too. So we decided to put our gloves and helmet back on. I managed to get a few photos, but of course, cameras don't work well without much light. After a few selfies, we arrived at Seaview Campsite. I'll show you more of it in the morning. I managed to blind the owner with my super bright headlight and also we were greeted by huge groups of children because obviously two motorbikes coming in at 10 o'clock had woken them up. It was not the arrival time we'd hoped for, but it was just how it worked out. The next morning. How are you doing? Great. Do you like your lad's tent? Love it, absolutely love it. Suits uh, me. Would you say it's a silent night? No. <laughs> <laughs> just give everyone a hint of why it's not a silent night. What's the plan for today? Uh, breakfast. That's number one. <laughs> <laughs> and then Salcombe, isn't it? And yeah. then down, no, up to Port Isaac. Sounds lovely. Yeah, can't Sounds wait. great. Yeah. She's got a copy. And then I've got the lad's tent. Hey, lads. Nice. Brilliant. Catch yeah. you guys soon. I took a few camping essentials with us, and it was weird to see that my brand new Coleman had melted itself together. Turns out this is a common design flaw, and this is the one to avoid. I have swapped it for a different one, which does still have plastic, but there's a much bigger gap between the plastic and the hot element. Keeping an eye on it, but if you're looking for a folding stove, make sure it doesn't have plastic on it. And that's about it for this video. In the next video, we visit Slapton, and we head up towards Port Isaac as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It helps me out a lot, and it's so exciting. I still get excited every time I get a new subscriber. So if you want to, the button's down below. In the next episode, we meet Hyundai on the corner. Oh, that's... Then we meet a van on the corner. And I get to premiere what I think is the most exciting bit of film I've ever created. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. You tell me.